Hello, welcome to the Monday, November 23rd, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Apparently, office documents with malicious macros are still a problem, so Didi gave you a quick set of Yara rules in order to find office documents quickly. One is looking for Visual Basic code that's compressed and generated with the Visual Basic for Application IDE. So uh, this is uh, raw code that hasn't uh, been modified yet. The second one looks for uh, Office document in the newer XML format. That's of course uh, then compressed as a zip and then includes a VBA project dot bin. So both of these rules are looking for different types of office documents with macros. Sure, there are quite a few documents that probably don't match, but for some quick triage, I'm sure you'll find these rules helpful. The British National Cybersecurity Center released a notice asking retailers to double check their Magento installs. Magento is Adobe's e-commerce platform and it had a rich history of vulnerabilities, including some relatively recent ones that have often been exploited, for example, in order to install credit card skimmers and the like. Well, if it's not too late for you, if you aren't already sort of in your uh, patch uh, freeze uh, for uh, the holiday uh, business, double check whatever e-commerce platform you're using, not just Magento. Make sure that you are up to date. I'm sure as business heats up, ransomware will probably try to take advantage of that in order to add additional pressure to their demands. Well, and then some news for the exchange users out there. We now have a public exploit for CVE 2021-4232-1. This vulnerability affects uh, Exchange Server 2016 and 2019, including if you're running it in hybrid mode. It was patched in this month's Patch Tuesday, so you may not have quite caught up with this yet. Well, uh, that's your last chance to get this fixed. Has already been seen in the wild uh, being used, even though some of these exploit attempts don't quite use, luckily, this uh, proof of concept correctly. The proof of concept, as it's uh, being published, will uh, just, uh, I believe, start MS Paint or something like this, but of course, uh, could be used for more. There are also a few articles stating that existing exchange uh, vulnerabilities are now being abused in order for attackers to actually inject emails into legitimate email streams on compromised exchange servers. So the attacker will wait for, for example, some purchase order or so being issued and then uh, provide like uh, billing or account information in order to redirect uh, money in sort of classical business email compromise fashion. And so the Linux users don't feel left out. Cisco disclosed a PHP deserialization vulnerability in Cloud Linux Immunify 360. This can lead to arbitrary code execution. Well, uh, Immunify 360, as the name may hint to, is actually a security tool that allows you to a real to real time file system scanning and essentially uh, configure protections for web servers. Sadly, they didn't get their security right themselves. And uh, well, as soon as possible, please update uh, Cloud Linux Immunify 360. And well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.